What's happening with PHP? Is PHP really dying? Will it soon be replaced by modern languages? The answer can be absolutely not, my friend. With its latest releases, PHP demonstrates its ongoing evolution and relevance in the modern web development landscapes. In fact, it's experiencing a resurgence. That means it adapts to new trends and innovations and it finds its place very well in the world of web development. For more than two decades, being an integral part of web development, PHP controls countless websites and applications. Now, if we look at the matrices from W3Text, PHP powers nearly 77.3% of website if we talk about server-side programming. Now, this isn't merely a statistics. We can say it's an affirmation. The language is used mostly by small companies with a workforce of 10 to 50 employees or uh, such companies which have 1 to 10 million dollars in revenue like the USA, UK and Germany are among the leaders in PHP adoptions. So you see like how vastly this has been distributed among uh, different types of companies all over the world. Now what's keeping PHP alive? To answer this, I can say like it has something called as the legacy effect. What it means is large scale enterprises like Facebook, Slack and Wikipedia had their foundations deeply rooted in PHP. Even if they have diversified their technology, PHP remains an integral part of their infrastructure. Now, you see, a significant portion of PHP presence can be attributed to CMS platforms like you can see WordPress, Zoomla, Drupal, and also like CMSs, which are acting as PHP's advocacy champions. That means it ensures that the language remains not just in use, but dominant. To get you guys started with PHP, let's see what key points we will be discussing in this video. In any point of time, you can jump on the respective point anywhere inside the video. We'll try to capture each and every point related to PHP development, ranging from the introduction, installation, syntax, variable constants, all the control statements, loop statements, object-oriented concepts, MySQL database connections, also PHP web development, PHP Ajax, and some of the advanced concepts as well. Let's sit tight guys and try to harness the power of PHP. Let's start with the introduction. Now, what is PHP? Where does it come from? Let's understand some basics and get answer to a couple of questions first. Rasmus Lerdoff released the first version of PHP in 1994. Initially, PHP was supposed to be an abbreviation for personal home page. Now we call it Hypertext Preprocessor. In short, PHP. And the file extensions of PHP files are .php. The latest version of PHP is PHP 8, which again has many releases. This is a version which will play a big part in modernization of PHP and beyond versions. Why? Because it will introduce performance enhancing features like just in time, GIT compilation, union types, and improved error handling, making it more competitive with high performance languages. PHP is a very versatile language. It is a server side scripting language for creating dynamic and interactive web applications, and all over the world it's widely used. It can be easily embedded with HTML files. HTML codes can also be written in a PHP file. PHP is an open source, interpreted, and object oriented server side scripting language. Open source means anyone can use PHP code without any licensing. Anyone can run PHP on any operating system like Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Unix, and others. Server-side scripting means PHP code will execute on the server before sending HTML content as output to the user's browser and also allowing dynamic generation of web pages and handling user interactions. Let us see some features of PHP and also why we should learn PHP. PHP is one of the widely used open source general purpose scripting languages for backend development. It's easy to learn, that means it is easier to learn for anyone who has come across any programming language for first time. It is free of cost. Since it is an open source language, therefore developers are allowed to use its components and all methods for free. It is flexible, that means it is a dynamically typed language, therefore there are no hard rules on how to build features using it. Also, it supports nearly all databases. It supports all the widely used databases including MySQL, 
ODBC, SQLite and others. It is secure, that means it has multiple security levels. PHP has a huge community support. That means it is loved and used by a huge number of developers. It has a very efficient memory and session management. Also, it provides extensive library support. PHP is cross-platform compatible. That means numerous operating systems including Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and Linux, and different databases like MongoDB, PostgreSQL, MySQL, all are compatible with PHP. Let's look at the applications of PHP, starting with web page and web based application. That means PHP offers a reliable solution through its three tier architecture to provide a highly interactive user interface, which will be able to perform online transactions and integrate with the database systems. Next, we have something called as CMS, Content Management System. PHP has been used to create popular web content management systems like WordPress, which is the most popular one, and all of its plugins. Then we have Zoomla, Drupal, Moodle, Silverstripe, Magic, and many others. Next is e-commerce applications. From slight business to heavy enterprises, selling to online buyers is now an essential requirement. Using frameworks such as Coordinator and Cake PHP, PHP allows quick and easy way to create e-commerce applications. Some highly recommendations will be like OpenCart, Magento, PrestaShop, GenCart, AgoraCart, and there is UberCart. This all has been created using PHP. PHP can be used to create UI-based application and also support image processing and graphic design. Also plays a very major role in data representation. Although PHP is mainly used as a scripting language for web applications, but it can also be used to create applications based on GUI, graphical user interface. For example, PHP, GTK2, Devil Studio. Now, in addition to managing text content, PHP can also be used to operate images and integrates with various image processing libraries such as GD Library, Image Magic, JPEG, GIF, and PNG, and many others. Also, if you talk about data representation, PHP can be used to create form of graphs, charts, Scrapper dot plots and other ways of presenting graphical representations. This video is part of PHP tutorial series, so please check other videos as well covering other topics on PHP. Thank you guys. See you in next topic video and don't forget to subscribe Moodle Arjun. Take care.